Hey, hello, you're Second Trial with Wolf Gorlick, Human Surfing, and IT and IT Security. Today, looking at 2018, the year of crypto miners. <laughs> and uh, and just in general, looking back at the year and looking forward to next. Around this time of year, my inbox gets flooded with requests for predictions. I'm sure you're no different. You start seeing all the news feeds about what 2019 may bring. And it really can be very difficult because of uh, criminals and criminals being driven by economics and people involved. I mean, cybersecurity would be very easy if there was no people and no money. That probably is the tip for you. But, but, uh, but realistically, this year has been very, very fascinating. 2017 was arguably the year of ransomware, and it culminated in... Um, the city of Atlanta attack, which was way early in the year, around March of 2018, where the city of Atlanta was held for ransomware. Now, Bitcoin was at an all-time high. I mean, it peaked at like $20,000 a coin, for crying out loud. Um, and right now, it's around, I think, three, if I remember correctly. I don't follow it every day. But since that ransomware attack happened, uh, the big one... Um, We've seen fewer and fewer ransomwares. And a lot of people in January predicted that this would be ransomware everywhere and they're going to take over. No, they're not taking over everything. What they have been doing is very sneakily loading on crypto miners. They've loaded on crypto miners on websites, on servers, right? Drupal Geddon happened and everyone used crypto miners for it. They loaded on IoT devices. They leveraged um, cameras and smart routers and frick, I saw one on a light bulb. How much money are you making on a light bulb? But anyways... Bitcoin miners um, and Monero miners and uh, the rest have really exploded this year. Arguably, this year is the year of the crypto miner malware. And it makes sense. Why ask someone to pay you in crypto coin when you can just use their computing resources and get your own crypto coin? Um, with the likelihood of ransomware going down and the cost of Bitcoin going up, that made a lot of sense. And because of that, according to uh, McAfee and others, we saw something like a four thousand percent increase in ransom uh i'm sorry in crypto mining malware something like 25 million different variants right now it's insane and that leveraged that hype wave of bitcoin even though um a lot of these things are not mining bitcoin because it can be very expensive to do mining of bitcoin they're doing things like monero and other things even though that was happening Bitcoin went up and that dragged all the rest of the currencies up. You know, Monero and even Dogecoin. I mean, come on, Dogecoin? Uh, followed that same uh, hype wave and got inflated. Now, since Bitcoin has collapsed over the summer, and as I mentioned, it went from like $20,000 to like $3,000, um, this creates a change in the economic environment. This creates a situation where the criminals, 2017 would send you a nasty gram of crypto data and make some money. 2018, they would simply use that same vulnerability to install a miner on there and make some money. What's going to happen in 2019? Where will the changing in economic tides lead us? I don't answer predictions in email. I'm not going to answer predictions on this video. I would love to hear your comments and feedback. Hit me up on social media or in the comments. Cheers.